Now the value of that data basically is if it can be analyzed in a way qualitatively to make an impact in the deficits that we've identified through data. What have I learned and what has the ministry learned as a result of this application? We've learned several things. One is that our top performing districts, mainly in Gauteng, some in the Free State and some in the Western Cape, are districts that are data driven. Which means that they are data driven, but the scope of that analysis does not begin and end with grade 12, but goes throughout the system. So whether it's, whether it's a primary school, it's the entire primary school, and when it's a high school, it's the entire high school bench. So that's one lesson that we've learned, and the empirical evidence is therefore there, scientifically, that districts that rely, and the district directors are here, they will certainly endorse that, that rely on data, analyze the data, and able to make the appropriate interventions but through the scientific analysis, see the benefit in the performance of the learners and the achievement uh, of, of their scores. So that's the second thing that we had learned. The third thing that we had learned about data is, is, is how easy it makes life. And you know, to, to this foundation itself, uh, the Michael and Susan Foundation, uh, the dashboard is quite incredible. I mean, it provides you with easy access, quick access to data in a way that would have not been possible a few years ago. And, 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 and you are able to provide, to access the data immediately. The analysis is done through the application itself. You can see visually it's thrown at your face and you then have to decide immediately. So the data then becomes a, a valuable and important source to make informed decisions about interventions or otherwise. So that's the other thing that we've learned. We've also learned, and I'm giving you a series of things that I've learned as a deputy minister, and my minister has shared her that experience, and then we certainly reflect on it with a great deal of pride, is, is, is that data itself is not something that requires an incredible degree of sophistication. Uh, you basically, the application is right, and you understand how to uh, go through the process, which is basically very simple, very easy to navigate through, then, 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 then that data can become immediately accessible. Much of it is already analyzed for you, and then you are able to have at your disposal data through which you can make an informed decision. And if you were asked why did you make the decision, you say this is the basis on which I made the decision, whether it's an intervention in mathematics or in the languages or in history or otherwise. And, and that's incredible. So that's another lesson we learn is to say that the data provides you with the importance, uh, the important opportunity of making these informed decisions based on scientific uh, uh, analysis. I think the humility of accepting that you can't know everything in this dynamic, ever-changing, rapidly changing environment, and that in fact, this rapidly changing environment is the reality of the future generation means that we, we must approach this with a degree of humility, but accept it with confidence that that is the new world, that is the 21st century, and that is the future destiny of our youth. Thank you very, very much.